there, cutie. Hello. What would you like to ask the doctor? The doctor's in, as they say. Right. Good morning. I would like to ask, I get very bad period cramps and severe cravings. I mean, I will eat anything from salt and vinegar chips to a yeah. chocolate bar. Um, is there a correlation between overeating and during your period? Yeah, absolutely. PMS, please make it stop. Pass me my sweats, <laughs> whatever you want to call it. Uh, it's true, the, the hormone progesterone increases before your period. Mm. So that's why we have compulsive eating. Estrogen, on the other hand, acts as an appetite suppressant. Huh. But that peaks ovulation and then decreases right before your period. So it's like a double whammy of food cravings. And it's all hormonal. It is not your fault. And it's, that's everybody across the board. It's not that some people are more, more prone to it than others. Exactly, that's gotcha. exactly. So here's the thing, there are things you can do. First you wanna avoid dairy and avoid what I refer to as women's four favorite food groups. <laughs> and that's salt and sugar and caffeine and alcohol. Okay, if you took all that away from me, it's gonna be a lot worse than whatever you're living for. <laughs> it's true. Right? It's true. So I'm yeah. just talking personal <laughs> here. That... Yeah, I, I'm with you on that. Right? So dairy, unfortunately, it has a cramp-inducing arachidonic acids that make us get inflamed, and, and, and salt makes us retain water. Of course, yeah, yeah. And bloating, yeah. and so it's really not good for us. In fact, most of us will gain about five pounds before our period, some even 10. Wow, as much as 10 yeah. pounds. And sugar, I mean, that's just, it, it, it you hit those walls, exactly. right? It, it, emotional roller coaster. Exactly. Ups and downs. Causes mood swings and, and bloating and headaches. Now, why can we not have caffeine, sincerely? Caffeine causes tension. It also causes our blood vessels to constrict, which makes our cramps worse. Can you still have some in the morning? Like, I feel like I would be crankier or more tense if I couldn't have a cup of coffee. Yeah, I, I agree. I, <clears throat> Just gotta, limit it. Yeah, you gotta yeah. limit it. You don't have yeah. to avoid it completely, but you gotta choose your battles here. Right. Same thing with alcohol. I would imagine that if you would really like a sip of wine with dinner, uh, you know, okay, just don't have a bottle with Exactly, because right? because alcohol causes, it's a diuretic, but it also causes us to retain water. So yeah. it's It's, it's another one good. of those puffers. We all know that. Now, We've all had the few too many eyes that's the next right. morning. Yeah. I, <laughs> I have something really special here, though, that I love, and it's a hot tea. It's a green tea, because green tea is a diuretic. Yeah, it really. It's really good. It's great for bloating. And a very calming. Very calming. I love it. So I'm going to show you how to do it. OK. All right, so it's very simple to do. You just take two sticks of cinnamon, which is an anti-inflammatory, and then you add your four tea bags of green tea. Gotcha. And then some ginger root. Fresh which, ginger root. Yeah. It's such a miracle ginger, Love it. Isn't it's it? a great for nausea oh, as well. Right. And then you add two, well, about actually four. It's about, about this much water. <laughs> 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 you heat it up. Uh, you're tempted to probably put a little brandy in it, but I would not. <laughs> Actually, this is also good for uh, when you have uh, morning sickness during pregnancy, the, the ginger. So I'm going to pour you some. Sorry. Here, I'll take it over to her. All right. She can take, take a sip it. of it. That's right. Here, see if you like the flavor of it. I can't say it's still hot. <laughs> but you can at least see if you like the flavor. It's delicious. delicious. Yeah, why would that not be Anyone delicious? else on their period? <laughs>